I can recall when James first joined our school and he was he was quite a nervous little boy standing outside the classroom. On his first day here it was a huge change for James because not only was he changing school but he'd actually only moved country a couple of weeks before so it was a huge change for him. We need always a mix between girls and boys in a team that are playing at the same time. You will defend on her. Wait, you will defend on her. George, you will defend on Natasha. Joyce. Then Natasha Joyce. defend on her. Muitas vezes escutamos a música da orquestra. Como a gente crê que é que é esta música é divertida ou chata? Some children just naturally are more confident than other children. Yeah. Some children will need more nurturing and that could just take time for them to feel settled and secure. You know, it's important that they feel really safe in their environment. And that's one of the things I always make sure in my classroom that almost before learning the child needs to feel safe, secure, happy. And when all of those things are in place, then they're able to really learn. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity of cultures that we have in the classroom is huge. You know, these children are first hand experiences of moving different countries. <laughs> tolerant they are of each other, how much they want to learn about other cultures. More respectful and tolerant, I would actually say. 32. So children, a human. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, I've got that. Wait a minute. Right, children. In order to help James settle into school, we set up a buddy system. We had a friend who he sat with in the classroom, who showed him around the classroom, supported him in any which way in his learning. 40, 30, 20, 10, 0. Uh, we go on trips together. Yeah. We sit next to each other and we play with each other. As well as most importantly, he became a good friend to James. They played games at playtimes and break times. First morning, how did you feel about coming to school? I felt happy but a little bit nervous. And what did you do, Christoph, to help James? Did you help him? Yes, I showed him everything and played with him. You showed him everything in the classroom and you played with him and did you play with him at playtime? Yes. And did you introduce him to some other friends? Yes. And how did that make you feel, James? Good. And that made you feel good and happy inside that you've made lots of nice new friends? Yes. Fantastic. And over time, James has grown in confidence. He now has a really big circle of friends, as well as his buddy, who in fact they've become very, very good friends. Yes! Uh, Try to live my wife and I'm in plastic. Yes. No, you can try it. Yeah, a, a good a good number of children to work with. I can live my wife and I'm in plastic. I'd say maximum 15 is a nice number. But then any more than that, it's harder to give yourself, obviously, to more children. I have 14. <laughs> When I think now of James outside my classroom in the mornings, it's like a different child. He's full of confidence, he's happy, he has um, a love for learning, which is just a joy to see. And how do you think, Christoph? How do you think James settled into school here? I think good. You think he's done good? <laughs>